<clears throat> okay. <laughs> Evening campers. How are we? Oh, people. Hello, Cody. How are you? Joel, hello, hello. Um, Danica, hello, hello. Uh, Cody, no, it's not muted. No, I just, I'm just late and a little bit lazy <laughs> getting everything set up. Not muted though. Not muted. Oh, okay. Get some musics. Let's get some musics. Kershid, yeah, that's right. I remember Kershid. Um, how should I explain to my teachers tomorrow why I woke up late? Oh, I, I wish I had a good excuse. I could do a paint over. You were getting a paint over by by a mediocre, low-ranked <laughs> YouTube art person with the with the Discord. Um, your one is the. Your one is the, which one is your one? That's your one, the really nice one in the rain. Could do something with that, but I think it's already, it's already finished. I think it's already pretty good. There's a few others on here I could do a paint over of actually. Yeah, there's a good few on here. Nice. <laughs> Thank you for joining, Kershid. Thank you. I just need to put this on my Instagram so people knows and then we can start. Go, it's on the story. Nice. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is a. Um, hey, you know that your stream elements link says you can't donate, right? Um, Joel. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't need don't need donations. Um, I think I mentioned. I mentioned this a few times, I think, but I don't need donations. No, it's fine. If you wanna, if you wanna give something, that that's great, and I'll I'll figure out maybe a Patreon, something to give something back. But if you do wanna give donations, that's great. But I think yeah, Patreon, I'll do something. So at least I can give something back, and so it isn't just so one-sided. I think. Uh, but um, stream, stream elements link says you can't donate. Oh, strange. I didn't know. Didn't know it gives that kind of information. Lola, hello Lola. Light, nice, nice, you're liking it. It's a, um, let's have a look. It's gonna have to be changed, I think. I think it's gonna have to be changed. So this is a, I'll explain briefly, it's a night palace uh, for the same game that had the desert's background and the and the tavern. It's, a, it's just another one, so same aspect ratio, same kind of render level. All that jazz, but 
it's a night palace so there's a lot of like there's a lot of light sources and the materials are very metallic and um polished and it's um it's a, it's a little bit difficult it's quite a difficult one this is in fact this is the hardest one so far really because I'm not used to rendering something with a lot of polish so it's it's quite difficult the where is it that's that isn't it yeah cool um this is the I started off with I'll show you my little works in progress so this is the first sketch I did wasn't very dynamic it's a little bit boring uh what else did I have uh, these are very rough by the way very very rough um, that's okay though, that, that's quite nice. And then, oh, what is this? I think this is the third one, which was about the fifth or sixth one that I actually did. And then I changed the, changed it a little bit and we got this. Uh, but the client wants it to be a little bit more like this. So he gave me this little paint over here. And he was thinking more about something like this. Maybe, um, he, want, he definitely wants it more purple, like you're floating in the night sky. And then a little bit of deco. He mentioned a chandelier as well. Um, I'm not sure I can get all these elements in because the the composition was kind of like greenlit before any of that was mentioned. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. Lola. Hello, Lola. Hello. Um, oh, I said hello, Lola. <laughs> Lola twice now. I'm like, uh, Yasmin is here as well. Yasmin, hey, my man, how are you doing today? Uh, birthday tomorrow. <laughs> it is my birthday tomorrow. No, um, it's not. It's the next, uh, the day after. It's Friday. Friday, my birthday is. Yeah, yeah. Friday birthday cake. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. Being locked away and can't really celebrate it, but that's fine. How are you doing, Nelson? I'm doing good though. I just got this really difficult background to do. I'm doing good. How are you? Okay, you got my see I use my perspective for this one because it's quite a it's a really difficult composition and perspective here. Okay. But yeah, he wants me to change it to be more like this. So the first step is changing it more like this. Uh trying to get a few of the elements in of this piece here. And um and yeah. See where we go. And then after that I'll start the render, start the um the polish. And I'll stop it at some point to do some paint overs, I think. Schmidt. Hello, Schmidt. Hello. Ooh. All the boys are here. And the girls. All the boys and girls are here. Nice. Toby. Hello, Toby. How are you? You doing good? Oh, lots of people today. It's nice. Okay, so let's start. All right, um, it's oh, look, it's so many layers because it's so reflective, and it's so I've got this. That's quite nice. Okay, so this maybe we can do a clipping mask real quick. Change it to purple. Um, it will have to be something like that, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's not so bad. That works. That works. Um, do the same for these. All right, clipping mask. Um, 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 maybe a little, a little more teal. Brighter. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm happy-ish with that, and um, the third one, <laughs> got to do the third one too. Uh, clipping mask, and maybe more, more purple, more, more puce, more puce. Oh, that's a weird one, so what's that? That's got this on it as well, don't need that. That can stay red. Move that down. Stop getting rid of that a little bit it doesn't work with that color already a little bit more purple so that's good don't know what that is delete that layer what is that that's a pillar those are pillars join them together 
I had a um, I had a little I had a little um, green on there, so I'm gonna have to make it a bit more purple because that's what they want. Maybe too much that one. I don't know. Oh, chat, 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 chat. Um, damn, why didn't you say anything? I didn't know uh, that your birthday was on Friday. Happy birthday, man, in case I forgot to say it on Friday. Uh, no, it wasn't on Friday. It, is, it, it will be on Friday. It's in two days. <laughs> it's in two days. So, yeah, Friday coming up. Thanks, though, Joel. Thank you. Danica, I am okay. I'm very good. I went for my walk today. That was nice. I uh, took pictures, you might have seen it on the Instagram. Nice trees, nice weather. So I'm doing good. Um, this illustration was a little bit difficult though, so we'll see how we get on. I might have to change this as well to like a shade of purple instead. They were all, yeah, these might need changing because they were yellow, so they Complement the purple, I can make it more green. Which way is green? There we go. And now, yeah, the main background. So, if I take it all off, it looks like this. Um, I'm going to have to get this and the edges. And make it... Mm, more purple, desaturate a little bit, don't know what to do with the floor, do not know what to do with the floor. Hey, this is my last stream and last day on earth, I feel a temperature, I'm going to die. <laughs> hmm. Don't say that Lola, don't say that. My friend's got a little bit of a temperature as well, and I'm not sure that might be something. Um, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure he's fine. He was streaming last night, so I'm sure I'm sure he's fine. Hi, 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 K. Hi. Is it K or Key? Um, ch -ch -ch. Uh, ooh, lots of chat. I'll have to make it bigger so I can see it. Actually, nobody needs to die here. <laughs> nobody needs to die here. That's right, Joel. It's a place of nice. A sip of water. No, it's a nice, nice place. That's good. Uh, the light is great and the colours remind me of Game of Thrones. Oh, that's good. Uh, they will be changing. Well, I'm changing them now. Uh, Lola, I've seen your YouTube channel. Uh, your house time lapse. Super cool. I watched it too. I didn't have any captions, but I watched it too. I think he fixed it for captions now, so I'll take a look later. I'll take a look later at that. Okay, that's that's okay. The yellow might work, actually. The yellow still might work. COVID-19 jokes in the chat. <laughs> COVID-19s. COVID-19s, Danica. I don't actually know how old everyone is here. I'm very old. I'm going to be even older in two days. Uh, Matt, don't forget, sometimes speak in a quiet voice. Oh, cursed, yeah. The ASMR. Relaxes my voice, doesn't it? Or, or do you mean I'm literally just... The volume's too loud. <laughs> I will be. I will be relaxing my voice. I will, I will. Maybe halfway through. <laughs> Lola agrees with that. Agrees with that. Danica too. Nice, nice agreement in the chat. That's what I want to see. Got my water, so it's not too bad today. All right, I'm gonna get get on with this. I'm gonna make a duplicate. See what I can do with the floor. If I can't do anything, something will have to change. 
Oh, it, I don't think it looks too bad with the yellow floor, but it needs... If the light is this purple and it's this intense, then it would affect, it would um, affect the floor as well. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Um, no, too bright. It's going to be, yeah, dark. Dark past. Okay. Uh, no, I mean like in the past stream. Oh yes, like I yeah the ASMR that I did. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed doing that. It's nice. I've never done it before. I I actually haven't even done it to myself. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so lighting is good. Um, get rid of those. I think that floor works better, yeah? That floor or that floor? I think that when it's got like, when it's being affected by the, by the light a little bit better. Yeah. I can't do everything in this image here, but I can, I can try and get the, what's he got here? He's got constellations in the sky, perhaps these patterns can be replaced with those constellations, that's fine. The moon in the background, like it's actually floating, I, I, the, I can't really do that. The composition doesn't lend well to that. I didn't plan for it, so that can't be, that can't be done, I don't think. The thing in the middle, that's fine. Uh, the columns being more prominent, that's cool too. But yeah, the chandelier might have to do, might have to be the main light source. Because you can't have too many light sources, otherwise it'll be a little bit muddled. Like, it's already got bounce light from down here. It's got something up here. These are shining bright. You might, I might have light coming through these corridors. So it's, it's quite intense. Um. Oh my god, I've got cider. Best evening. Got, got cider. Nice. Nice. I need a wine. I need a wine. I might have a wine actually. Halfway through, I'll ha I'll have a wine. That'd be good. Uh, Yasmin, it is good. Leave it like that. Do you mean the volume? The volume's good, yeah. Uh, do people tend to give you contacts for what you're designing generally, or do they send like a list of ideas that you can kind of freehand it? It really, it really depends. Um, this is. It depends on, yeah, it depends on your client. This one kind of likes to make um, little images. They also send me little mood boards and then give me a brief description about how it affects the story and how it's introduced in the story. So that helps as well. These, these sort of paint overs help too. Um, obviously, it would have helped more if I had it at the start, I suppose. But yeah, it really just depends on, on your client. The more... The more high profile they are, the more strict they are. So they just um, they just tend to um, they tend to give you style guides and stuff if you're working with like Riot or or um, or any of the sort of major companies, Rockstar. They just give you um, give you these big style guides to follow, and it's a little bit more strict. But yeah, this one's quite free, quite free. I had freedom over the composition. Okay, so. Personally, I, I prefer this green one here, but it's not part of the... Sometimes you make a better image. Like, I, I think I made a better a better full image here with the colours and stuff um, than it is here. But this is what they want, so client gets what he wants, or she wants. I did change a little bit of the colour, actually, in here. I did add some... Um, what's it called? It's called... Um, color variation, <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, this is just the color key. Okay, I'll go, I'll go forward with this, I think. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to duplicate that. 
shrink it. It'll change as, as we go through it, as, as you've noticed. But I can start getting the final sketch done now. So they need to stay there, that needs to stay there, that comes up. Red for reference, color key. Overlay, so it's not too gearish. Actually, I might need it. I might need it full. Just while I clean up the sketch. Okay, bring that down. Shrink that in a little bit. Right. Clean the sketch. Oh, chance below. Oh, I dropped my pen. Beer is the way to go, mate, Joel. Uh, beer. No, I don't like beer. It kind of... It, it, it's like I need to drink more volume of water to get the same, the same effect. So with wine, it's a little bit... I like spirits and wines. They're good for me. I've only got a small stomach, so I can't really handle it. I want wine, Yasmin, I agree. I want wine too, but I always have cider at home. Cider. Cider, I like, there's some good Welsh cider that I like. I got some Malibu living next. That's on my bed every night. It's temptation. Malibu? Crack it open, Danica, crack it open. Okay, I need a little bit more. There we go. Fade line is about here. Okay, that's in. That's in. Again, this this if it was if it was like a. Not that this isn't important, but if it, if it was like a big kind of big studio um, looking to commission a piece, then they might, I'll, ha I'll have to go intricately here with the shapes and the pen tool and just get everything bending really nice, which I might do for the actual shape that I render, but, but for now, um, and for this kind of level of render, that it's fine just to freehand it. Copy that, bring it down. Bend it over. Need some reference lines here for the floor texture. The only alcoholic thing that I drink is wine, so yeah, Lola, it's nice, isn't it? Especially red. Especially red wine, it's really nice. Anybody 420 here? Anybody 420 is here? 
making a call out call out man you have all uh man you all have uh refined taste buds <laughs> look at the chat go i like it talking amongst yourselves is good that says i don't like beer <laughs> i know what is good i do i do I don't, however, know how much water to drink. I need to go to the toilet again. I'll be two minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, got it, it's back. <laughs> Danica, online learning sucks. I do miss my lectures. Ah, uh, is that for the um? Was it? What was it again? It was it. Um, I got it. I I remember. It is. Oh, what's it called? We look after like mother in. Oh my god, it's called something. <laughs> oh my god, what's it called? Not mother care. Um. Oh my god. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'll re I'll remember and then I'll. I'll <laughs> you'll probably remind me. Uh, I just remember. Uh, can you talk about isometric perspective today or someday? Um, yeah, 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 I, mean, I, I, I could do that. I can even do it today if anyone's got a paint over that's isometric, just get that in the submissions, that'd be good. Um, Discord server. Show that comment. Um, I thought Skype was dead too. I don't know anyone that uses Skype. Mother care, <laughs> mother care, that's it, mother care, ah oh, shit, <laughs> mother care, I should have known, I was like mother, it is, did I say mother care, I was like mother, um, mother care, oh did I say mother care, I probably didn't. Oh Simon, hello Simon. You draw really nice arcs. Thank you. Thank you. It's um, it's just practice, I suppose. Yeah, for some reason it's still being worked on. I use several for job interview and stuff. It's still okay. I had one client um. But only used Skype uh, last year, and it was annoying because you have to kind of download these new things whenever they, whenever they need it, and it, and it's like it just kind of interrupts your day. It, it's it better if every kind of client would be on the same thing. I think Discord is good enough for everybody now. Like Discord is, everybody has Discord these days. That's a wonky column. <laughs> That's a wonky column. 
Oh my god, it's midwifery. Oh my god, it's midwifery. It is midwifery. Obviously, it's midwifery. Oh, I said, I thought you were correcting me and you were going, uh, you know, it's mother care, Matt. And I was like, yeah, I know it's mother care. I said that. <laughs> like, I know. Oh, midwifery. Yeah, that's it. See, I knew it was like wife, mother, um, something. My, my, you know, that sort of nurse and mother and wife and mother and wife. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. I'm sorry, I should I should have remembered that. It was it was different. Wait, are my columns wonky? That one's a bit wonky. This one can be smaller. closer and actually needs to be, yeah, like that. <laughs> Very unclear but still funny. Oh. oh. Thank you. No, I didn't even know what I was saying. Mother in... Mother in... Mother... mother. My midwifery, that's it. Uh, Discord is good now, but thanks to COVID, it's all going. Um, it's it's going down all. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's going down all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god, it is going down all the time. I use it for work. It's my main. It's my main thing, and it keeps. I can't log into the chat servers. It keeps going. I've got DNS error or something. It's. It's the worst. Okay, so I'll try and get the cleanup sketch done quite quick. Okay. All right. I think I had some sort of column here. I'll put that in later. Got that there. Did any of you use the these grids that I um I mentioned on the last stream to get your perspectives? It's uh li I literally use them on, on this one and I couldn't have done it without it. I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know how to even I wouldn't even know how to arc without them. Not sure what to put in here. I think I'll just make them dark, otherwise they'll attract too much attention. Okay, um, now what? So, constellations. Let's have a look. Are these made up or I might do I might clean that up. Cool. Okay. Oh this one's this one's wrong. Oh and therefore that one's wrong. Just need the top grid. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Tanika's funny today, isn't she? My dad uses my Spotify. Um, Matt, I actually forgot to ask you about River Flows and you. What about oh what ah oh, the game I mentioned? Yeah. So um, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. So when Yasmin had a little video on a story of her playing um playing piano, playing a little melody, and 
I was sure it sounded like the song A River Flows In You, but it was actually, um, is it Nouvelle Blanc, something like that? Nouvelle Bianca, Bianche? I, I, I had an Italian friend who told me how to say it once and I completely forgot. But it means white clouds, doesn't it? So the white clouds song by uh, Ludovicka, and it's um, Ludovicki. I can't remember that either. But it's one of, yeah, I can't remember it. But it's one of my favorite. It is my favorite piano piece, and um, it was for a. It was a personal game actually that I was working on. Clean up the sketch here. It was a personal game that I was working on, um, and uh, we got so far into it. But then we all got kind of got really busy with our jobs, and we couldn't do it. And that was like three years ago now. So, um, it's my. It's my magnum opus, essentially. It's my, um, it's my, it's my big, big show reveal. My my big design for a game. I'll definitely make it one day because it's. I know it's it's too. The ideas could really work, and it's really, a really good idea. I think <laughs> anyway. So, um, I'm just gonna put these in here. Uh, so yeah, it was for that game it was, so I sent it off to a musician and, and, and I said, you know, give me something that kind of has the same emotional feeling as, as this, this tune that you were playing. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I couldn't believe I didn't recognise it. I listened to it like a thousand times. When you when you sent the message through, I saw the words like Nouvelle and and, and Ludovicki, and I was just like, oh, oh, that's just so embarrassing, and I got it wrong. It was so obvious as well when when you said that, and I replayed it. It was so obvious it, that that was it. Like it was so obvious. Oh yeah, they want something in the middle, don't they? constellations in here too. Just do random ones for now. Cool. Um Yeah, what is that? Is that a table? I should have asked him. Should have asked him. Uh, if, I, if I knew that was the centerpiece, I would change the composition for that. But I don't know, it's gone too far now, I think. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that too. I'm just going to block it in now. Okay. 
values. Uh, see, uh, things with values on, on this one, it's uh, the value groupings that I, I, I kind of half taught you the other day. Uh, that kind of doesn't apply here as much. It, it applies, obviously, but it's not as clear because of the way the light branches everywhere. You kind of have to rely on other other techniques to um, to guide the eyes and to make a nice looking piece of art because there's so much bounce light that every value changes but you can you can play with it a little bit oh lots of chat I like that you're chatting amongst yourselves that's good it gives me a chance to um, gives me a chance to kind of actually do a little bit more do a little bit more sketching quite a dark value cool um, trying to find the questions in there um, doo -doo -doo -doo. what kind of music you like Matt except the Viking melodies <laughs> Lola I love <laughs> Viking melodies I love some Viking melodies there I do I like what do I like I like everything really right now I'm listening to what is this I'm listening to Alan Walker which is not something I normally listen to I kind of like I like uh, metalcore any sort of metal and sort of heavy music is, is good for me um, a lot of uh, yeah new metal metalcore thrash metal Metallica Trivium all those all those big bands actually speaking of those let's get some Asking Alexandra, yeah, like all those big bands, nice, nice kind of, um, nice kind of mix really, because I like folk as well, folk and country music, Mumford and Sons, Kings of Leon, probably my favourite band, kind of indie, when it was indie. How long have you been working with the Lasso? I've been working with the Lasso for about three years now. Before that, I didn't know what my style was, and I didn't know how people actually did digital art. And then I found the lasso tool, and I, I answered so many of my questions. Like, oh, that's how they make that shape, or that's how they kind of make a clean, clean mask really quickly out of something. And it's, it just, it fixed everything. I'm going to get rid of the grids a second. Yasmin a little wonky on the piano. That's fine. I'm a little wonky on the guitar as well. I've gotten into it recently. I think I'm going to buy an electric guitar this weekend. The first one I had when I was like 18, which is like a very long time ago. <laughs> I've had a few acoustics since then, but I want an electric now. I'm too basic. <laughs> sure. We need some wonkiness in our lives right now. <laughs> My playlist on <laughs> wonkiness in our lives. My playlist on Spotify, most of it Ori soundtracks, picking up some rock and roll. <laughs> rock and roll. That was cute. I like. I, I listen to the Ori soundtracks too. Um, a lot of a lot of music and game soundtracks. Yeah, you do when you do art, don't you? You listen to like Epic Music Volume Mix Six or something like that. <laughs> Bunch of basic bitches who are stuck at home watching map paint because our country is so soft down. <laughs> uh, good vibes, Joel. That's right, good vibes. Heavy metal, that's how you raise your adrenaline. Good, good. Yasmin, love a low roar. I like a high roar as well. A high roar is good. Um, like, probably favourite album in that kind of genre be Shogun by Trivium. If anybody else knows it, it's just a masterpiece really. We need your play and you really don't. <laughs> you really don't. So like I used to be pretty good. I say it used to be pretty good. I was okay. Um but then I just stopped doing it for like a year, year and a half. 
I'm just not so good anymore. Not so good. Um, it was a lot darker than that, I think. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, so values still apply, like I'm still doing, I'm still sort of grouping my values. It's just, it all falls apart when there's so much light bouncing around. Right, so the floor is lighter because it's been hit by the, directly by the light above. The walls are second because they're getting all the bounce light from inside the room. And then the corridors are darkest because as the bounce light bounces around, it kind of reaches the corridors and then fades as it goes further down. So they would be darker. Cool. So the rules are working. This foreground bit of something interesting here, that'll be the darkest. There we go. Cool and then you play with the values inside that. <laughs> Get some more indie rock in there, proper bangers recently. Proper bangers recently, definitely link me some, some bangers, boys. I need some bangers. I, I'm listening to the, my old music more recently just because you run out of music and then you listen to things you haven't heard in a while. And that's, although that's fun and that could be that could be good, nice, nostalgic. It's still... I, I want some new stuff. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lola, yes. Tonika, yes. 8-bit music, best music. Ah, there was a... Um, I'm not sure if you know the band. Uh, they're called In Flames. They released a 8-bit version of their latest album, and it's just amazing. And then I went back and listened to everything 8-bit. Like... Sonic 3's soundtrack is probably my favourite piece of game music. Cl uh, Cuphead soundtrack, nice. I haven't played Cuphead actually. I've got to, I've got to do that. Right, what am I doing? Right, so the colours. Where were the colours? Okay, so here they are. So I want desaturated dark blue for that bad boy. These are just almost pure black. Oops. They can be grouped together. This was... Oh, shit. No, not that. That. Okay, cool. Weird palette, but it's, it's it might work for us. It's a weird palette, but it, it might it, it might be okay. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It might be okay. I mean, technically, we're only using one or two colors here. I mean, we're using a nobleus kind of blue and purple, and then one complementary orange for the ground, which is which is kind of a it's a really mid yellow orange, isn't it? So it's, it's yeah, it's complementary to the sort of blues and purples. Sprinkle a bit of yellow in there. Oh, in the um. 
<laughs> just oh <laughs> in, in, in the discord chat um somebody mentioned this youtube guy um he does like game tutorials on unity and game maker he's released a game or two i think as well i can't remember his name um if anybody remembers put it in the chat i'll i'll try and i'll try and think of what it was but i've been following him for years i really like his stuff as well um i never put any of it to practice yet but does he just do um does he just do game maker or is it unity as well or was it unreal because he released a game that looked pretty good should be that color that'll change all right I think that's the basics in there now because mm, this piece is so complicated What are we talking chat? What are we talking? It seems like temperature is normal again. Healing stream. <laughs> cider as well. <laughs> Cider's making it work. It's the cider it is. It's the um it's the fruit, it's the apples in the cider. <laughs> I love colours man, but it's so much things to think about. It is so much things to think about, isn't it? It is. It's a complicated piece, so I'll definitely need a little bit of help along the way. It, it, it's, it's one of those that there's a lot to think about, and I'm just not going to be able to actually think about I'm I'm not. I'm going to miss something. So it's like, point it out if you, if you can, because that would be a great help. So I think this is the last one now. This, And then that client is finished until he needs more which I think was like the end of the year sometime all right color dodge just get some of that oops I'm not going to detail it, just good to get like a a few of the shades in there so I can start blending them in with the paint. Thomas Brush, that was it, yeah. The, yeah, the guy who made Pinstripe, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you mentioned him um, in the chat. And I was, um, I just liked it because like it to me it, it feels like everybody knows each other. Not everybody, but like if, if you're, if you're even remotely enjoyed on YouTube then it's like oh you know everybody kind of recognizes each other and it's kind of it's quite cute but yeah I used to watch his videos he's, he's really he's really good he tries to do a little bit of everything there doesn't he so it's um it's like he does the art and I think he does the programming too I'm, I'm not sure I think he done like a, a PewDiePie game one time in like 24 hours or something like that it was a it was a, a charity stream i think
how's everyone coping with being isolated? Being isolated is all my life. Oh, Lola, I completely agree. Everyone keeps saying, how am I coping? Like, they're using the word cope. And it's like, honestly, um, it's no different than my normal life, honestly. Like, going to the pub, of course, that would be great. But that was something I did, like, maybe twice a week. I'd stay in otherwise and just be doing this. In fact, I did more work, so in fact, it's kind of, like, it's kind of better. So you want some constellation. There we go, constellations. Constellations and stars. remember how to do that then. <laughs> How's everyone dealing? Um, cool at first, but now I feel bad. Oh, cursed. I miss my friends, man. We all live 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes. Where's my drink? We all been ten, uh, 10 minutes away from each other. Uh, we've just opted to drinking and crying together over video call. <laughs> mm. Same. Same. It's my birthday, isn't it? So we're going to do a little little stream or something, I think. We're supposed to play some games with some people, maybe on the day. Could be good, but going to celebrate it properly afterwards. Sounds fine. And with Kirsten, yeah, we all need some outside in our lives. As long as I can go for a walk, it's fine. Lola, I do sport. I start to work. She does. Uh, you do a lot of um, exercise as well, don't you? Do a little bit of yoga. I noticed. Man, no, everyone in primary school spent all lesson, all all day drawing that. <laughs> oh yeah, this yeah. <laughs> I know it was the worst, wasn't it? It was like, oh, I can do it faster. I can do a little bit faster. I was the guy that made the um. Oh, this piece is so slow. I was I was the guy that made the best paper airplanes. Like you know you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so shit. The guy that made the best paper airplanes, um, that was me though. Like everyone would come to me for like the Concorde jets that I used to do. I don't really know what to do with this because there's so many rules that are being broken that, well not broken, but it's just a complicated piece. 
It's so complicated. I still don't know where that symbol is from. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, where is it? Where is it actually from? Like, where did it originate? That's a good point. I'm gonna research that when I'm in bed later. Just scrolling through my phone. I like to know orange. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit. I like I can't speak. I like to know origins of things, so it's um, it's all my Google's ever filled with. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave that there. That one. <laughs> obviously. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bad line. Oh, that's a bad line. Starting to come together. <laughs> Me too. I drew flu. Uh, oh my god, I cannot speak. I drew flames on mine. <laughs> Makes it go faster. Does make it go faster. Them's the rules. I can't color them. I, I really don't know what to do about those. Do spotlights here to show that the um, the light is kind of catching all over the place. I'm not sure how it'll look, um, but it'll be like this. Oops, on top of that, then it'll be colored dodge, and then it will be like then it'll be like blues in there like greens but like a lot more blue there we go I might further that and just sort of mix it in later but it's there now just sort of affecting I can start rendering this a little bit <laughs> Oops. There we go. Kind of now all the blocking is done for everything. I what color? What color to do these? 
I really don't know. Like, I could make them light and... Well, that's obviously... <laughs> well, that's not light. I could make them light and pop off the screen. I could make them... Uh, oh, that's not bad, actually. Kind of, the purple is, is the shadow color that's adopted from under here, and then the bounce light from down here is illuminated in the bottom of the pit, uh, bottom of the pillars. Actually, I like that one, and then I can mute these a little bit as they're further away. What are we talking about chat? What's going on? What's going on? What's good? What's good? Kershid, I uh, lived in the office for two years. People are divided into two types, office and freelance. Yeah, much prefer freelance. Yeah, Lola, the same place every day. Feels weird to do all your work at home, or it does for me at least. I know the majority of people here are used to it and thrive, and yeah, yeah, it depends. Um, my my opinion <laughs> is uh, I prefer um freelance just because of the opportunities that you get. So you can go. You can be at the same studio for years and years, and and that and that's fine. You still get opportunities because you're working on your portfolio and stuff, but between the travel, the commute to work, um, and then sort of being tied down to things that you have to get done um, in work, like uh, the administration, the HR, all that kind of jazz, it kind of like bogs you down so that at the end of the day, you kind of are tired. Um, just And dealing with people as well. So like dealing with people throughout the day is tiring, especially if you don't get on with someone. There's that, of course, there's swings and roundabouts, so you, you can meet your best friend. Um, you can meet some really good people then some really you know lifelong friends but you can also meet some of the worst people you can meet some of the worst people and it, it's it's like it, it could really go one or two ways but regardless of that like talking even if they are your friends it's kind of effort during the day so you have to kind of have that on you all the time whereas if you freelance it's kind of more just you kind of, once you finish work, you kind of want to get up and stretch your legs. You might want to go for a run. You might want to go to the pub to see your friends. So it's kind of, it's kind of like you're never tired really because the commute doesn't matter. You're right at home. So that's, um, that's sort of my, my take on it. And also, you know, there are many perks to being at home, like food and people and, well, loads really. It just far outweighed the bad when I made the decision to be freelance and not look for studio work. Is it froze? Oh, it's doing that thing, it's froze. Um, as it froze, yeah, I'm gonna have to close and reopen. <gasps> Don't look at the work. Check out that isometric. <laughs> I'd rather be homeless than go into the office. <laughs> I think it's I think it's good uh, the way with a little bit of purple then orange. A little bit purple then orange, yeah, okay. I don't know if the orange would be coming I mean yeah, I mean it it could. But it would be more like 
in between. Ooh, Yasmin. Ooh, I think it's working. I think I like it, yeah. Nice touch, nice touch. I'm gonna keep that, I think. So I'm not sure what to do here, so I'm just gonna make it a little atmosphere in the back there just to show that it is different and it's not just a forever ending tunnel forever oh why is that not working there we go just to show that it's not kind of indefinitely going on and that it's got a little bit of depth to it okay I'm kind of what I'm doing it I'm kind of not putting all of my effort into this because it's because I don't know if the client's going to be liking it because they obviously wanted to change the color and then they gave me this thing here to sort of riff off but but I'm not so I'm not going to put like all of my effort into it <laughs> I don't know now that color can't be there it doesn't work Little better. Don't know what that thing in the middle actually is. I'm going to leave it until I know. for now. Do a little bit of render on the floor. I need the that one. Um, I'll be looking to do um, a paint over in about 10, 15 minutes. So if you want to get yours, get yours in the submissions. I'll take a look and perhaps we can decide together. Or I'll do I'll do one of Yasmin's if she has one. She's always here. Or anyone else that wants one. Lola even if you want one. Not everybody needs them, not everybody wants them really, it's just a, it just sort of gives me a, gives me something that I can attach a kind of lesson that I know something about, so like last time it was like shape variation with the rocks and things like that that Cody gave me. Um, and before that, so Yasmin's um, just sort of overall composition and colours. 
I haven't been looking at the chat. I'm just, I just saw weirdos assemble. <laughs> oh, my little bunch of freaks. <laughs> I love them all. Talking so much today, I like it. It's nice. It's um, it like gives me something to read as well. So like, I don't have to be talking so much. Lots of people saying introverts, and then lots of people saying I'm not an introvert. Weirdo, do we have a fan name already? <laughs> oh my god, no. No! <laughs> No, don't let it be weirdos. I'll, I'll, I'll any, I'll take anything. I'll take anything. Not weirdos though. <laughs> Cursed uh, Lola, you need to join on Discord. I think she is, isn't she on the server? I think. Uh, Matt's new intro. Hey weirdos, my little bunch of freaks. <laughs> hey weirdos, my little bunch of freaks. Smash that like button. Please, don't don't smash it. Is there a Discord? There is a Discord. Um, I will add my name. Uh, <laughs> I normally start by just saying morning campers or evening campers because that is what I say. I say that a lot. Like I used to say it when I got into work, when I worked in a cafe, I'd, I'd walk down into the kitchen and just, <laughs> just morning campers. <laughs> I like it. It's funny. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna add my um, I'm gonna add my Discord in there. There we go. For anyone who needs it, uh, I'm teacher, so I have to deal with uh, all kinds of ages of people. Sometimes I have to push them uh, to move forward, and sometimes I have to tell them that they are not so special. Ooh, that sounds. That sounds like Yasmin telling the truth. Telling it like it is. Joel, uh, it's a Discord. Yes, sorry, I just posted it. Um, sorry, Matt, it's a thing now. It better not be a thing. <laughs> it better not be a thing. Uh, if you mean uh, chat, no. Um, yeah, Joel, it is. So, um, it is a server, sorry. So, if you add my, if you add my name, I can then add you to the server. Because I don't know how to just... Can you just add people directly to the server? Can you... Ooh, Lola's, me Lola's message. Oh, she <laughs> oh, she's messaged. Oh, I did a paint over for Lola a while ago. It's this um, grayscale one, sort of canyon. A canyon. Yeah, canyon. That's, <laughs> that's the right word for once. Hey, canyon. It's a... Uh, I enjoyed doing that. What do we what do we learn? Something about value groupings probably again. <laughs> so it's about value groupings. It actually was. It actually was. Can you add people directly to the server then? Can I what do I need to give you to to make that happen? Do you need um invite people? Uh, Joel says, by the way, I'm Joel, but <laughs> I know Joel, I know. <laughs> I recognize the Joel. Oh, by the way, I'm Joel. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let's see, what's the chat saying? Uh, hence join, check DMs. Um, I, I, <laughs> I just did, yeah. I got your DM. Um, how to add people like how to link a server to a YouTube chat thing I can invite people or I can copy oh I can copy link and then if I if I paste this link here does that does that work for everybody yeah Lola you've been in the chat for it <laughs> you've been in the chat for ages haven't you we did look we did a few paint overs I think um, Man, I hope you didn't forget me already. <laughs> Joel! 
I remember you, Joel. I remember. I knew it was you, Joel. I knew it was you because um, it's the only Joel I've ever known and have ever had in the chat. We've we've never had a Joel in the chat, but um, but now we do. We have a little Joel. I like it. I'll add them to the um, server. Oh, it works. Oh, great. It works perfect. It's only a small server. It's just a where people post submissions for work and stuff. So it's 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 exciting for some people. I think um, Joel's a programmer, so I, I think it doesn't um, it doesn't kind of. What am I saying? It doesn't um, excite him as much, obviously, because it um, doesn't need paint overs. doesn't need paint overs. needs hard code. <laughs> just, just raw hard code. <laughs> raw hard code. No, I know it's you, Joe. I know it's you. Um, I liked your, um, I liked your game jam um, project. It was, it was kind of similar to ours as well. That, that we had going, what am I painting on? The wrong layer. Always painting on the wrong layer. Oops. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to leave it. Okay. Uh, the server is rising again. <laughs> it's the only Joel. The only Joel! Yeah, the only Joel. Oh, that's just like a few and the code in your paintings. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> Joel, you are a brilliant programmer, and I would be honoured if you programmed my paintings, if that's even, if that's possible. There's a few, um, there's a few, we, we should do a project though, if you want to do, especially now that there's nothing else to do. And I know you, that you were in your third year of uni, right? Um, so that must be, that must be coming kind of to an end, really. Not in a bad way, <laughs> in, a, in a good way, in a kind of, um, you're finishing and going to be looking for jobs and stuff, which is good, it's cool. Uh, so send you an art for painter, but yeah, Lola, anyone, Lola, anybody, just post it in the submissions in the server and I'll get to it. I'll get to it quite soon actually, because I think I'm going to finish this up here, because we got where we need to, we got where we need to. I will add the the lights coming down there just to make sure it looks it does look the same. Following the perspective grid, of course. That's what it's there for. I mean, it's all pixels anyway. It can't be that hard to program more paintings. <laughs> it's it's true. It's just pixels, Joe. Just doesn't matter how many pixels, just how you use them. I still remember the um, the dancing robot from the game jam thing. The dance at the end. <laughs> the dance at the end was longer than the game. <laughs> It was. <laughs> oh, it was funny, I liked it. No. I missed the games where I was thinking. It gave me a um a oh, it just gave me a chance to drink. Ooh, what, what am I doing? That. Yeah, so I want a clipping mask on this. And then get some colours in there. Why are the colours working? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it because I... Oh, I see.
that kind of works. Um, why can't I get my light blue in there though? Here we go. Um, oh, too much. Oh, that's too dark. Yeah, I'll need to play around with that. Um, what are we talking about? Uh, well, you asked for it. Enjoy. I'll take a look now. Matt, why do you look like Johnny Depp ever so slightly? I used to get that so much. I acting like it's a. I'm acting like it's a bad thing. It's a really good thing. It's a really good compliment. Thank you very much. It's just uh, used to get it all the time because I wear rings and the hair and maybe the facial hair, glasses, I suppose. Um. I look like him less and less as I'm getting older. Really, really fucking old now. <laughs> uh, but no, thank you very much. Thank you, Danica. You read my thoughts. Oh, Lola. Oh, you, you think it as well. Um, he, he's a model, younger version. Oh, everyone's being nice. Joel's even being nice. <laughs> well, Joel, Joel, the uh, Joel's seen me in person, so I suppose he's he's the best judge. So just listen to Joel, I suppose. I mean, if Joel says it, then I, I guess it's true. I guess it's true. <laughs> I said what we're all thinking. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's a compliment. It is, it is a compliment. Um, I can't be anything but happy with that. That's really nice. <laughs> Thank you. How am I going to get the colour in this? Clipping mask. And then I think I can merge those, yeah. And kind of need to bring it out in the background a little bit more. So I'm just going to do a little path and I'll take a look at the paint over. There we go. Right. Um, can we all agree in the next stream to start off with here's Johnny? <laughs> well, I'd rather start off with here's Johnny than um, hey, my little bunch of weirdo freaks. <laughs> I got the heads up here. <laughs> He's going for the hello, weirdo <laughs> Johnny Teppy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you bunch of freaks. Johnny here. It's nice. That is nice, though. It's nice. All right, let's have a look at the Discord, shall we? Look at the Discord. How, how long have I been going on? One hour forty-six. That's good. That's good. Got a little friend request. Danica. Add in Danica. I will add Danica to the server. How do I do that? Um. Invite people, copy one for you, Danica. One for Joel if you want to join. Joel doesn't have to join, but he can do. One for Lola. Cool. Oh, he got it through the chat, didn't he? Yeah, of course. Sorry, Joel. <laughs> um, t -t -t submissions. Hello, kitties. <laughs> Hello, again, kitties. Hello, you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, guys. Oh, Yasmin, don't say weirdos. Uh, don't ask anything, Lola. What? <laughs> That's so funny. I can tell that's yours because the speech bubble and the kind of um, illustrative. Uh, graphic style of it. It's quite nice already though. It's Yeah, it's quite nice. I don't know what it's from. I don't know what's happening in that picture. <laughs> the chicken wondering why stuff is happening. Yeah, the chicken one. Yeah. What is that? Is that chicken feet coming out of the clouds? 
chicken feet coming out of the clouds, trying to pick up some chicken, and the, and the chi- it's just a, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's it's a bit weird. Yasmin, oh Yasmin's good. Oh, that's cool. Lola's is good as well. It, it's it's obviously good. It's a it's a different style, and it's just it's just a bit weird. <laughs> Oh no, COVID. Okay, cool. Right, which one which one should we do? I'll let you guys decide. I can't pick. It, it's both they're both pretty good. Alright, which one which one which one do you want, chat? Is it Lola or is it Yasmin? Lola or Yasmin? Cody, keep it weird, keep it creepy. <laughs> it's my life motto. <laughs> keep it weird, keep it creepy. This is overall very wholesome and it's great. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. It was in my dream, actually. Oh, okay. I don't know what... I don't know what you were eating. I don't know what you were smoking. But as long as you enjoyed the dream. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the chicken's doing. I don't know how to improve it either. It's so It's so weird. I want to see the chicken implementation. I I want to see the chicken as well. I want to see what I could do with the chicken. Kvitcha can say a lot of things. <laughs> I thought he was pooping rainbows for a sec. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it does look like that. I I don't know what I'd do with the chicken one. Um, the values are pretty good. Um, the color gamut can be can be changed a little to accommodate the rainbow because the rainbow is obviously every color, so it, you kind of can't count it in the gamut mask, which is like basically just saying the the list of colors that you should have in an image. Um, there's a lot of color going on. There is a lot of color. Is it for a mobile game? It looks like it's for a mobile game. Yasmin's obviously looks like it's for our children's illustration book. It's pretty good. I can improve. I think and I'll know what to do. Like it's. It, it, I can't just say I'll improve because you got to like give a little bit of a backstory to what, to what it is, so that I'm not like, contradiction or going in the wrong direction to what the image was supposed to be. But I can I can still sort of improve kind of technical things if I can. I mean I'm, I'm no. I'm no expert, but I can I can try. <laughs> Joel, I wanna I wanna see what I can do without chicken. <laughs> Did I say that? I wanna see what I can do without chicken. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, for that reason, I'm not picking the chicken one because that I I will I just be thinking one thing. The yeah, the rainbow. <laughs> I want to see what I can do to that chicken. Oh, I, I can't believe I said that. I'm gonna start my stream with that actually. <laughs> There's no story, it's just a moment. Okay. Okay. Um, well, a lot of people seem to want something to do with the chicken. Um, let's have a look. All right, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Um, I might do both. I might do really quick ones on both just because they both came through at the same time. And, and uh, oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> it's it's a, The chicken piece is so big. The chicken piece is so big. Let's see what I can do to that chicken. 
Oh, uh, okay, right, so new HD, right. It's double HD, which is good. Um, yeah, save that. Close, 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 close. Okay, chicken. All right, how can we improve the chicken at all? I can't really improve the chicken. Oh, what is this, by the way? What is this? Um, this kind of frame you have here, like the colors are really saturated in here, and then they've been like desaturated behind this. Is there a reason for this bit here? Okay, cool. All right, so let's check the values. Uh, sky in the back, that's a really nice sort of light gray. What have we got in the middle? Middle, uh, yeah, go on then, yeah, middle, um, kind of the lightest, I'll go with the lightest. There we go. It's quite similar there, so there could be a little bit more separation there. It doesn't too matter too much because you have the cloud in between, which is obviously much lighter, and it counts as the background, so that's not too bad. Then you jump down to this kind of dark value down here, and the chicken's lightest point is this middle bit, which is kind of in between here, which is interesting. So there's a there's a little bit of value I can play with. Um, like I would to make this chicken pop more. It depends uh, again because it could be an art direction, um, especially on mobile games to make everything very visible. Uh, but I would probably I would probably play with the chicken a little bit just to darken him just slightly and play with the values. Um, I would darken him overall and then bring in the lights. Just darken him overall, just so he kind of like he kind of pops. Kind of pops for multiple reasons, but because the background is so light, everything can't be light. Otherwise, it doesn't it doesn't read too well kind of bleeds into the background. It's it, it's a nice piece though. I would um I would watch Yeah, I would watch your separation here. It's quite a big separation between these two. So you've got like a very distant mountain and then quite a dark up close. I mean even if this this blue here was was a little bit closer I think you'd still get a kind of a value like something like something like even if it's a warmer a warmer green it'll push it forward anyway so you can kind of separate it in different ways but you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to create too much what is, what is that there so that's a, that's another layer there as well isn't it cool okay yeah this 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 tree as well that can be kind of like pushed into the foreground made a little bit darker these are just like cheap quick ways of making things um, making things a little more clear, but but you would obviously spend a little bit longer on it. Um, I could do, I, yeah, I could do, like there's a little bit of a, all right, so the main focus clearly is the chicken head here, but in, in this frame here, the chicken head is kind of <laughs> framing this scene here. Um, I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to be focusing on. So this has got a lot of attention because it's quite dark against the light clouds. This has got attention because it's a it, it's a warm color, so it's brought forward. You've got these two chickens here that are kind of the same size, and then you've got these two feet here which are the same size and value, and everything's kind of the same value. So if don't concentrate on this because your render of the chicken head is quite good. But if you concentrate on this mini frame that your head has created here, you can you can kind of you can kind of work with that, this as well. So if you think of this as the frame, always big, medium, and small. What you've done by having the chicken head kind of here is 
is you've created this small box here, but it's kind of central. See how central it is? It's, it's almost like the two sizes are very equal. If you pushed him further across here and kind of had him here, you would create a better sort of shape, shape ratio. You would have this big shape here and this smaller shape here, which for some reason, I don't know, but it looks, it, it makes things look better when you're sort of working in larger and smaller and you kind of get a, uh, a shape difference going, which is something that we can talk about in this little frame here. So I would, I, I, I would really need to know what's going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the real question is what's to be the chicken's name? Actually, the name is Johnny. <laughs> Jeff Oxen. Uh, Johnny the chicken, the, ch the chick and Matt, can you give advice um, if there is time at the end? Um, yeah, Chris should, sure. And give any advice, any time. Yeah, um, just chuck a question in and um, just make sure I get to it. That'll be fun. Johnny's a chicken. Uh, trees look like cotton candy. I like Johnny's name. It's a chicken pomade. Does he use? <laughs> oh, I've got pomade. Uh, ooh, you don't know what it is, Lola. <laughs> it's a weird piece. It's, it's an interesting piece. But yeah, I would. I I would then. Yeah, sort of. There's too much. Too many shapes here that are the same. The same value, and the same size. The same value and the same size. You've got this attractive intention, then you've got this sort of squished over here. Um, what I would do, um, it's going to be really rough this paint over, by the way, it, it's not going to be very clean. So I would I would get rid of, again, work in threes. Uh, every time we work in threes, I probably won't have the rainbow there just because the gamut doesn't kind of, you know, it, to have a rainbow in something, it kind of almost has to be on its own, if that makes sense, with very sort of limited other colors going up, going around, otherwise you, you you end up mixing everything together and having no strong kind of color palette because there's every color in the rainbow. I would do, yeah, I would push, yeah, that should be a lot smaller, I think, that tree there. A lot smaller, a lot smaller. You can still have them darker value. I would kind of desaturate, desaturate a little bit and bring it a little closer to purple because, because it will be purple because it's kind of adapting a little bit of the blue of the atmosphere. So it would be a little bit, uh, a little bit more, more purple. I would, I'm not sure about what the lighting is doing either. So the lighting is generally, it looks like it's coming from, you got light hitting here and then you've got shadow under here. So it's kind of suggested it's coming from above, which would suggest how that's dark and that is light. And then you've got light ends here. So yeah, the lighting's coming from above, but here you kind of have your shadow right on top, if you notice. You shadow right on top and you've got like light down there. If you try to think of the tree as, as a, I'll even do a similar shape if you want. It's just sort of this long kind of cotton candy shape. You know, you could just sort of, you can, <laughs> you can kind of have it, have it there like that, that's fine. Um, but what you want to think about is the, um, the shadows. So your light is coming from above. I think everybody knows this. I generally think everybody knows this, but it's like you need reminding um, you need reminding about it every once in a while. Even if someone looked at my piece and go, well, Matt, you didn't use that rule there. I'd be like, I know, I know, because it's something that you kind of know, but you just don't always, you can't always apply all of the time. Anyway, so you've got your shadow on top here. Um, <laughs> return it. <laughs> I, can, I can I can kind of, I'm not returning it. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not returning it. I'm not returning that one so crude it kind of suit, suited the image though didn't it so here we go <laughs> it just looks um but always think about your kind of direction lighting so you got your mid light uh you got your dark value your mid and your light value there so it kind of suggested that it's coming from above you don't have to apply those rules all the time i mean if the if the trees oh shh, it's gonna look bad <laughs> but it might have to be pink is gonna be like this. If your perspective is kind of this high, so everything above this line will kind of be like, this is so bad, honestly, <laughs> this is so bad. And then you have it, think of the form, the way the kind of the, <laughs> everyone's laughing at this now. <laughs> I can't, I can't teach seriously in this. Perfect spot too. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, it is. <laughs> 
Oh, it's the perfect spot, isn't it? It's just, it's just so funny. There we go. Sit on that. <laughs> yeah. Um. What am I doing? Okay. So yeah, so think about kind of the lighting coming from above, and these form lines help you kind of shape, shape it so you know what that you you kind of going around, and you know that the underneath would be a lot darker, but then you can kind of fade to about but there but then you would also have like these little leaves flicking out so you can kind of fade upwards but always lighten the value as you go upwards my trick is to just kind of get the airbrush tool and just sort of like once i give it a pass over just to go over it again from up and go over it again from down with the dark light from above dark from above and you kind of bleed them in so it's kind of a little a little nicer on the eyes but yeah just remember your light source when you're doing that because i think i think yeah your light source is definitely coming from above isn't it because your trees here you've got shadow underneath there i would just reinforce it because everything's a little bit everything's bright and i know it's supposed to be a sunny day but you've got quite a lot of these these clouds so i assume you would have like quite a lot of shadow in areas too and, and shadow can be like shadow can be really really useful um in kind of creating a composition by push putting things darker and pulling things into the light it can be really useful so i would i would suggest kind of that really that's that's my little advice for this one but to be fair i've seen pieces like this um from mobile game studios and the render is is just as good as yours so it's not like you need that much help really in render lola at all it's it's, it's very illustrative and it's nice and mobile game companies love this kind of thing um i would just help you with like things like that like frame and composition making sure the lighting is consistent but yeah, I hope you kind of learned a little something from that. I hope. I got a little. I got a little time. So what I'll do is I, I might do. I might do Yasmin's as well. See what I can do there. I don't plan this though. I just. I just go in and kind of. Obviously, I didn't plan it because I didn't know what you were sending. But like, if I had a little bit more time planning, I could. Uh, I could give a little bit of. Uh, I could give better advice, I suppose. <laughs> What's the chat saying? What's the chat saying? You still laughing about that? <laughs> Perfect spot. Yeah. Then he could didn't even see it. Ha, I laughed so hard. <laughs> I was outside today, so I got a bit dirty. Joel got a little bit dirty. Got a little bit dirty, did. Yeah, I always have issues uh, with the light. That's why I'm not an artist. I chose illustration. Yeah. I suppose. I mean, it, it again. It's like stylized stuff. Like Salvador Dali's lighting isn't always on point. It's not. Uh, but you can argue with whether he really knew what he was doing or whether he just sort of intentionally didn't make the lighting that specific. I, I you know, I it's he probably didn't know what he was doing. Obviously, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. It whether there's intent behind it or not. Chat loving Joel. We love Joel, don't we? And <laughs> the picture looks great now. Damn perfect. <laughs> Joel had some fun. I tend to have fun when I can. Yeah, thank you. I thought, sorry with a specific sketch. It was better. Yeah, no, it's fine, Lola. It's just like every time I, I can even go off my own, um, my own sort of artwork and go look how you know look how shit this was. You know, I could just get something from years ago. I could go on. I can literally do that right now. I'm going to do Yasmin's, but I'm just literally going to get something from as far back as I can remember. And what have I got? Uh, illustrations on ArtStation. Go down to the end one, and there's bound to be something that I can do better on all of them, really. Yeah, the values are all over the place on that one. I don't know what that is. Anyway, no, I'm, 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 I might do that another time. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Yasmin now. Let's have a look, Yasmin. My, I have issues with saturation always. Uh, do you mean desaturation or too much saturation? Because let's have a look. Um, it's quite, it's quite desaturated here. Um, which, you know, desaturation or saturation in general isn't a bad thing, isn't it? You know, it, it, it's a tool to be used. 
Joel got a bit dirty. <laughs> he agrees. Joel the jokester. Love and Joel in the chat, aren't we? I, I do, I do, I do miss Joel. I do miss Joel. I miss our little monthly sort of sentences <laughs> or conversations that we have. Let's have a look. Okay. So, like, with this, the idea is really good, though. Like, the idea of, like, what am I doing? The idea of the tree there and the shape of the tree coming in and it creating something um, very nasty. I remember being in year three or four. I was, like, very young. And um, and my, my teacher... Oh, my God, Buzz Lightyear, I just noticed. <laughs> I just noticed Buzz Lightyear. Um, I remember being in year three and... And uh, the teacher was reading us a book, and he was like, uh, and there was this kid in the corner, and 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 the light was casting on the kid, and half the wall was in shadow, and half was in light. And in light, it was like teddy bears on the wall. The pattern was teddy bears. And then as it went into the darkness, it kind of changed into bats. And he was like, look how they, look how smart that is. You know that it it's sort of illustrating how scary the dark is, and how we see things that might not be there, and things like that. And it's exactly reminding me of this, which is perfect, perfect because I had kind of experience with this. So it's it, it's really good. So the idea is great. The idea is great. Uh, desaturation. Okay. Okay. All right. So firstly, um, are these are again like there's a hundred things I could say. It's not like it's like you have one issue at all. But I'm just looking at this straight away and seeing something, and then I'm adjusting that. But I can see that you've got three different values here for your walls which is fine it's just the focus of this piece is this here this here and obviously the boy's reaction to it so these two so they're on the rule of thirds so they're on this axis and they're on this axis which is good uh, so and the boy looking directly at the thing that's threatening him that's really good but but i think you've got yeah, you've got three different colors of the wall, so technically this should be your foreground here. And then everything else should be your background, but th the problem is you kind of have the same values here as you do here and here. They're, they're very similar, aren't they? So it's, it, it, it's difficult to tell. So this dark one in here, you've got this dark one in here, and it's kind of very similar. So what I would do is, is just push that a little bit further. So with moonlight, what moonlight tends to do as well is, is create great sort of um, atmospheric lighting. And especially since it's behind the boy, you can kind of have this, uh, just cutting it out a second, you can kind of uh, select inverse, kind of have this really nice backlight behind, behind the character, which will give him, which will kind of push the background um, back a little bit. So it's not too, uh, so it kind of like, as you can see in the thumbnail, it kind of draws the attention into it. If I inverse again and I just play, just darken the values on the boy. Am I on the boy? No. Darken the values on the boy a little bit too. Then we can create a really, oh, I think we can go a little bit more on that as well. Yeah. Sorry, on the boy a little bit, a little bit darker there. Uh, yeah, and then we can get some really nice like rim lighting. Um, sort of really peak it here, and then oh, you you have it here on his nose and stuff, but it's just about exaggerating that. I think the eyes can be a little bit brighter though. But yeah, you got really nice rim lighting on this now. Down in there, and and use the rim lighting to kind of guide your eyes into um, into the little boy. Ooh. Okay, so that's one thing I would recommend. Yeah, so so separate from the foreground and the background. You can still have this guy in, in as the secondary or even the main focus. Just because you're pushing something back doesn't mean it is. It, it means it's less it, it means it seeks less attention but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's any less important in the piece especially when you can use shape and color and things like that okay so secondly i think 
um, the boy and the head, the two heads are kind of the same size. What I would do there is, not that, I won't do that. I would, I would just get this. And because it's supposed to be dominating and, um, and kind of really aggressive, then I would make it, why not make it kind of massive really and just sort of dominating. Again, with like children's illustration and fantasy illustration, it's kind of about, it's kind of about exaggeration and, and, and it's about style as well because that's important, but it is kind of about what you exaggerate and what you, what you choose to exaggerate and kind of what you, sorry, I'm just, I'm just uh, recreating the shape of the teeth as the eyes there, just so there's a consistency. I'm not going to tell you how to make things more scary because I'm not really that kind of artist. But yeah, um, if you make things bigger, it's a little bit more scary. You can still have details in the background. Um, yeah, so that's another thing I would suggest. The, the little details here are fine. That's that's all great. It's a little bit of um, environmental building, a uh, little bit of world building. I might have a... I might have a, a, a curtain here, possibly. It depends, really. It, it, it kind of. I just want to hide that, hide that moon, really. It doesn't necessarily need to be shown, but you can kind of show it by having like the glass on on the on the window there, just sort of blowing out a little bit. So it's um use a little bit of um, either screen or color dodge, one of those. But you can kind of have that there. You don't want it too bright because it's going to distract attention um, away from your other two main focuses. That might be a little bit bright there, but you can see what I'm trying to do there, can't you? It's um, you've got a little bit of atmospheric lighting. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, you see what I mean. Now, obviously, this is very shoddily done and it's very quick, but the ideas are there and you can kind of read it. But um, yeah, I think I think that's what I'll offer there. I think uh, yeah, remember about. Remember to like increase sizes, make difference difference in sizes. Um, that that always benefits because that's always something that you have to consciously do. Because sometimes people are just like I'm drawing a head, and then oh I'm drawing a, I'm drawing a head over here too, and it's like you kind of keep the same size, but you got to remember to reinforce what you're trying to say. Oh, I would have like oh that would be nice as well. Your your color is really good. Is the the monochromatic um, is it is really great. Maybe something like that there. And yeah, the the thing about the um, these being three different colors, um, I know it's kind of a, a little bit of a classic trick to have them in three different colors, so they read separately really well. And it's just like right, that's obviously a corner because if if you kind of take this away, it it'll be that classic three D kind of um, look, wouldn't it? It'd be that three D kind of look. Oh, I keep saving it. Um, but what you want to do is think of like why the values are there. So I think the top one would be the darkest because the light is coming straight down. So the light is coming straight down here. So I think the floor might be a little bit bright. Then you have this like backlighting against the wall. So this wall would be like medium. Um, yeah, fair enough. This wall would be dark, but this I think this wall would be the darkest. And these, this wall the darkest. Um, I but it, it, I don't know why it's the brightest, but it should be the darkest there. This one a medium, and this one another medium, possibly a little bit darker, just to show that the light is coming from behind it. But yeah, I think that's that's my advice for this one. I could I could do a, a couple more things, but <clears throat> you know it's it, it it's like I'll just be basically re redoing the piece otherwise. I'll check my check my chat now. Um, oh yeah, and with desaturation, I think I think your saturations are fine. I think they're great. I th I think. What you should remember, I always had trouble going, oh no, it's broke. It's froze again, this color wheel. It's so annoying. Um, I always had trouble going too saturated with things. And then because everything was so saturated, it, it was like, it, it was so bright and vibrant that it demanded so much attention that I didn't really know what to do with it. But when I started to desaturate, it kind of made me focus that, yes, yeah, saturation is a tool to use for composition and kind of to direct the eye and be, be a little bit more in focus, especially with light and things like that. So um, I think you're fine. If, if I would saturate anywhere, I would just saturate kind of this area as it's kind of 
you could have a little bit of oh, my color wheel isn't working you can have a little bit of red on the nose as well just to show it's a little bit more human it's a little bit more more friendly and the warm will bring that character forward as well i would definitely recommend yeah having having red instead of this kind of you slightly got it there but i would bring it out a little bit more just because it's a little closer um cool my shadow was a demand i was still afraid of that they were scary at the time weren't they i'm gonna get some feedback on my art as well joel you can get feedback on anything what do you need feedback on joel i'll help I feel like I'm trying too hard. Give me a look, Joel. Give me a look. I'll, is it on the Discord? I'll check it out now. Uh, Yasmin, can you send me this one? Yes, I will send you this one. Um, IGB handling. Uh, uh, good tips as always. Thank you, Yasmin. And Lola, yeah, yes, yeah. I do, I really like uh, Yasmin's stuff. It's really um, it's like different to my style, but I can appreciate. I can still appreciate it. YouTube stream. I should have like paint overs as an actual file. Yaz, yaz, yaz. Actually, no, I'm gonna call it. How do you spell weirdo? <laughs> That's right, isn't it? We weirdo. That's right, right? I think, I hope. Cool. Okay. I'll, um, uh, thank you for the tips as always. No problem, Yasmin. No problem. Um, I present my art. It's a bit different. <laughs> a person, me. What's new person? While quarantined, me go outside. Me get dirty. If me is dirty. <laughs> if me is dirty. Oh, what does equals equals mean again? Does it mean... It means do that unless, does it? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, if me is dirty, or <laughs> too dirty, apply joke in chat, or else me feel good about myself. Joe, I wouldn't even dare. I wouldn't even dare make that better. That's perfect. That is, that is poetry. That, that's getting a heart. That's getting a heart, Joe. That's just, that's just, I... <laughs> Oh, I love, <laughs> I love that one. That's good. That is funny. <laughs> if me, if me is dirty, what does equals equals mean? Does it mean if me, me is dirty, no more than too dirty? Is that no more than or is equal to? Oh, is if is it is equals to? I think that's what it means. If me is equals to dirty. <laughs> Too dirty. That's funny. Ah, uh, Joel. Okay, I think I might be done for today. I'm just gonna send over. Yeah, I'm gonna send over the Yasmin thing. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, thank you very much for joining, especially Joel, uh, Yasmin, Lola, Danica, all the usual favourites. Schmidt. Um, we didn't have the Phantom Brothers today, did we? We didn't have James either. James wasn't here today. Ah, oh, James, where's he gone? Uh, it has to do with equals is assignment and equals equals is one comparing a bit tacky here I did I did JavaScript a long time ago. I did game maker language a while ago equals equals. That's right. Yeah um, Comparing so if me is dirty Compared to too dirty. I love it. I love it. Oh, um, yeah, Kirsha. Did you have a bit of did you have a question? A bit of advice. If it's a paint over thing, I can start the next stream with it if you want to. Just let me know. Let me know before we go. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, wow, wow. Something new about you. Something new about me. <laughs> Joel's an enigma. Matt's out show. See you around, my little freaks, in the next one, campers. <laughs> oh, that is that is a, for today. I think it's enough. Kershid, I agree with you. My my bones are aching, and my voice is a little bit is a little bit sore. So, thanks for joining, guys. Oh no. No, no, I'm sorry. I mean, thanks, my little freaks. <laughs> Can't even do it. Thanks, my little freaks. In the next one, campers. Bye, 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 bye. Mm, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs>